king عليه السلام زيد بن علي زيد بن علي had an uprising he revolted against the Umayyah tyranny when he was captured the son of Zainul Abidin was captured عليه السلام Zayd after that he was killed he was crucified three years at the gates of Kufa three years until the dove has nested inside his limbs and inside his chest eventually the body has been taken to Sham again it was crucified on the gate of Sham and then it was burned and then the dust was the ashes were thrown in the dust look how Hisham ibn, Ab ibn Abdul Malik how he was tweeting Ahlul Bayt the days has passed years has passed Abbasis came, took over, and they were seeking vengeance against Bani Umayyad. Al Mansur al Dawaniqi, one of the Khalifas of Abbasis, was sitting in Masjid al Haram. All of a sudden, a man came to him and gave him a precious gold, piece of gold. Tell him that this, I have it for whatever price you ask, I will be happy to sell it to you. Mansur recognized that this piece of gold is precious and rare. Only the Khalifa of Bani Umayyah has it. So he asked his people to arrest this guy because this guy has to be an Amawi, a member of Bani Umayyah. The guy runs to the Masjid al-Haram. He takes refuge in Masjid al-Haram. The guards come and cordon the entire Masjid waiting for this guy to come out. All of a sudden this man see a decent person a very decent person a pious one he asked him for refuge he tell him that I am the son of Hisham ibn Abdul Malik now I am here the government want to arrest me Mansur wants to arrest me and they will kill me can I take refuge with you he said don't worry but just do whatever I do he said no problem this man he grabbed this guy, son of Hisham ibn Abd al-Malik, and he dragged him on earth, on, on the floor, and beat him a couple times, and then start shouting and the, at him, then he pulled him outside of the masjid. The policeman came and told him, why are you doing this? He said, this is my servant. He did not listen to me, therefore I am punishing him. I need to get him out. They knew that this guy is Hashimi, so they let him go with respect. When he leaves, he told him, now you are free, you can go wherever you want. He said, yes, but I still owe you. Can you tell me who you are? He said, don't worry, I don't need to, you don't need to know who, who, who I am. He said, please, for God's sake, otherwise I will go and tell the government who I am. He said, I am Muhammad, son of Zayd ibn Ali. Your father has crucified my father for three years. Look at the moods of Ahl al-Bayt, the sacrificing nature of Ahlul Bayt This is when we praise Ahlul Bayt, when we glorify them not for any, no reason, because there is a very important reason, brothers and sisters. So, this man came to an Imam السلام, and told him, Ya Ibn Rasulullah, give me some piece of advice. Advise me. The Imam السلام, start with this, says, Naam. استعد لسفرك وحصل زادك قبل حلول أجلك. There is a trip in front of you. You will have a very long journey. Are you prepared for the for that journey? This journey is completely different from any other journey. Every trip that you make, it's a round trip. You go and safely you come back. But this journey that Imam Hassan is telling, this guy is telling him, get it prepared for that, because this is only a one-way journey, one-way ticket. There is no return from this journey. Have we ever seen ourselves, if we want to take a trip for one week, we make a, such a long to-do list, list one, two, three, four, ten, fifteen items, one hundred items, to make sure that our trip becomes pleasant, peaceful, something that we will enjoy. Start from personal items, to travel accessories, the camera has to be, you know, charged with battery. We have extra, we make sure that we have extra 
chip, memory card. We make sure that our car included, includes every accessory that we want. The food should be ready. The children stuff should be ready. Their PlayStation, PSP, everything should be included in the trip in order to make our trip so pleasant. But for one minute, have we thought what we have in front of us? Imam Hassan alayhi salam said, pay attention. This is a one way. You're going to take this road and you're never going to come back. Are we ready for that? I don't think there are two people who disagree on the fact of death. Death is something that everyone believes in. Even God is sometimes controversial. You see, some people believe in God, some people don't believe in God. But have you ever seen somebody who says there is no death? Yet, we are so oblivious about it. So are mindless. We never think of this. That this thing is not for me. The other guy died because he had cholesterol, because he had diabetes, because he had cancer. I am alhamdulillah fine, nothing is happening to me. I will survive. Always thinking that the death is for the neighborhood, not for myself. While no one has escaped from death. So here Imam al-Hasan is saying that this is a journey and in this journey there is no rest area. There is no shops that you go and buy your food stuff, you make your, you know, bring food for you. You have to take it with you from here. وَحَصَّلْ زَادَكَ قَبْلَ حُلُولِ أَجَلِكَ Before you start, you need to pack up and make sure that your food stuff is ready. Otherwise, you will not, you will not survive. Ali ibn Abi Talib says, آه إن آه من قلة الزاد وبعد السفر ووحشة الطريق This is such a long journey. It never ends. And it's so terrifying. So scary, something that we have to go by ourselves alone. No one will associate with us. No one will be accompanying with us. We have to take this road by ourselves. Are we preparing for our food stuff? One day, a man saw Imam Zain al Abidin, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad bin Wali, Muhammad. Imam Zain al Abidin used to carry the loads of food and food stuff for the poor, for the needy, for the orphans, in the middle of night. He would put it right in, on his back and go in the neighborhoods of Medina searching for those poor families. One day a companion of him saw him and asked him, where are you going, Ibn Rasulullah? He said, Ila Safa, I have a trip in front of me. He left him. Next day, he saw the Imam, saw Imam Zayn al-Abidin, and told him, Yabna Rasulullah, you told me that you're going for a journey. He said, Laysa kama fakkar. Not what the journey that you thought. That was for Safar al akhir I was preparing for the other trip. Meaning that what I do is considered to be my food stuff for that trip. So the Imam alayhi salam is telling his companion, get ready for that trip. Wa'lam. أَنَّكَ تَطْلُبُ الدُّنْيَا وَالْمَوْتُ يَطْلُبُكَ There are two hunters and there are two targets. You are hunting the dunya, this life, chasing, starting from early.